closer she come, the more she come down, she gonna bring them big swells. Oh, it's so nice. I like hearing that. You could feel it. You could feel the wind. The wind picking, you know. The wind picking up, I tell you. Yeah, like you can feel it. Huh? And I, and like if we could hear the north side in the night, the big boys starting to come. This is what happens when you don't have the correct, correct, uh, oh wait, hold on, beeping. We're beeping. This is what happens when you don't have the correct uh, surf mobile. You know, Ben's van has a flat tire. My car is for cruising only. Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached our cruising altitude of, of being stuffed like sardines in the car. And then you're gonna have to tell me if there's a car. There is not a car coming, sir. You are good. Wow. All right. Good morning, Nub Nation. The Gravy Navy. Shout out to Robbie Goodwin. He came up with that. <laughs> I didn't make it to Nantucket this summer. Maybe I will. Either last year. I didn't go last year either. No, two years ago. Oh, bummer. So here's the claim. Woke up this morning. Jordan and I are going surfing with my parents here in Atlantic City. Conditions are not great, but the dream is on. Did you tell them about my surfing yesterday? What happened? I am now a full-blown shredder. Dawn Patrol. So Ben says if I do Dawn Patrol by myself, that means I'm an actual surfer. That's what I did. Sick. I got to the beach at 6.30 a.m. Sun was just coming up and I caught my own wave by myself and didn't even step into it, bubble screen. I didn't step into it, I paddled into it. And there's evidence. I Ben will insert the photos here. Jordan's been asking me to go out on the jet ski <laughs> and hit the outer bar. So maybe, <laughs> maybe her first big wave session coming soon. And otherwise, we're gonna go try to we're gonna try to tackle these uh, conditions. We've had a couple of hurricanes brewing up down in the Caribbean. Nothing has formed into a legitimate storm yet, but. Uh, we're getting some tropical effects. So here we are at home, starting the day off with a dream. It's like a sardine can of stoke. All you have to do is pull out one sliver of stoke out of the sardine can. Right, honey? Yeah. That's all we're looking for today. One sliver. That one. That's me right there. These are uh, waves that I grab. What's up? What's up, bruh? What's up? What, you surf now? <laughs> and I forgot my wax, and I need it. But, and I don't have my leech. I'm not very prepared. Look at this set, look at this set. Dude, that was a proper bomb right there.
Mozart and Dale. claims surf session I just want to say a couple things for me that was a huge thing that session because that was the first time since our trip to Washington that I've surfed without pain first time that I have surfed pain-free every other time it's my back it's my hip it's my knee so what that tells me is even after a jet ski mission that took me out for a couple days mm -hmm. My exercise is my strengthening. My momentum physically is moving forward. So I'm making strides, I'm making progress. Secondly, Jay Verney coming out hot, coming out swinging, catching her own waves, not complaining, standing up on command, working on her pop-up, being out there in the big surf, one to two feet, cranking. They were, some of them were three feet. And then my family, great time everyone was having fun everyone caught a couple waves my sister even went down the line did she I missed yeah it. and it was a good session so great way to kick off September and hopefully there's a hurricane around the corner we got some super top secret epic scenarios playing out tomorrow morning however not gonna mention them yet because I'm not sure if I'm pulling the trigger so I'm gonna just this is a big toss-up right now this this is a crazy scenario but my ear itches I'm going to vlog. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that accent, 100%. I just want to say that don't give up on your surfing dreams. I'm not one to be the, um, what like Ben always has these like positive things to say. And I'm not one to do that because I get embarrassed. But I will say that I have not given up on surfing. This summer I try to take it more seriously and I feel like it really has worked out to my benefit. I'm going out there, I'm not having Ben push me into waves, and that is why I have been able to surf better, is because I'm just doing it on my own, and if I fall, I fall, and if I don't get up, I don't get up, but the times that I do get up, it's so much better. And then yesterday, I went surfing by myself for the first time ever, ever, literally got my board in my car, so, I don't know. Just don't give up on your surfing dreams because if I can surf, literally, literally anyone in the whole entire world can learn how to surf. Now, he is dramatic. Thank you. Thank you. You too. How dramatic are you? Made it to location X, meeting the new guy for pickup. So good to see you, bro. Hey, dude. What's the claim? Six feet of 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is. That's the story. What's that called? Uh, Groundswell? Wishful That's thinking. Wishful, wishful thinking. thinking. Slab city out there. <laughs> How'd you get me here again, dude? <laughs> My fault. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to our destination. We set a world record. I'm the only surfer to ever come on a surf trip with one single fin and a bar of wax. I will show you the bar of wax when we get to the car, but the reason I didn't have to bring anything is because of this. Here we go. Deep into the bat cave. Nice mattress. So, scenarios are pretty heavy, but I do have multiple shred sticks. How's the lighting in here, garbage? <laughs> here we go. Oh, we got 1410. 
That's about the worst looking 410 I've ever seen. Oh, the nose. We got one high performance shortboard, a little smaller than I remember it. And we have one, uh-oh. One 5'8 retro fish that actually looks surprisingly good and is pretty lightweight. Yeah, we got duct tape ding repair. So we got a full blown quiver. We're about to hop on the Bomba and head out for the day. We're gonna go see what's going on. Pretty much we're here chasing Hurricane Earl on a wing, a hope and a prayer. So the original forecast looked really good when we booked our tickets, but we are currently in a scenario where we might not get waves at all. So we are here once again to live the dream. wave guarantee right Pete yeah. look there it is there it is is that as dangerous as it looks it might not, be. It might not. It oh my gosh all right Eric we can't not let's try it let's try it five wave guarantee Pete <laughs> wish us luck <laughs> All right, JT is all the way over there. You probably can't even see him. That's the cool thing about going on adventures like this. It's always a journey, it's always a mission. And there's a shot that no one's ever surfed this particular peak before in the history of time. So it could be just totally deadly, could be gnarly, or could be 100% doable. So we're the guys who are about to find out. Wish us luck. We got back from surfing a little while ago. That was a really cool little session. Greg informed us that actually no one has paddled out there and tried that wave yet. So currently the conditions are 0.8 feet, 0.8. That's not even a foot at eight seconds, which is a pretty low uh, period. And as we wait for this storm to come, the buoys are supposed to get somewhere between four and five feet and like 10 and 12 seconds. So conditions are supposed to improve drastically. We're kind of just waiting on it to happen, but kind of was forced to take the fiberglass board out because I, I don't know, I made a decision between my soft top and my fiberglass and I ended up taking the fiberglass. Conditions were not really good for it, but then I ended up actually enjoying myself. So the boys were ripping. How do you feel right now, Eric? Throw some clothes, I can't wait for Can't wait till it's big? A couple days, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Are you gonna jump off the cliff? 
gearing up right now. Have you guys done it before? Yeah. You so. haven't? Well, I didn't have my boots last time, and then and, uh, I forgot them. Every time we came over there, I didn't have my boots with me. Now I got my boots, so we're gonna We got jump. boots. All I'm gonna say is it's bigger than it looks, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of gnarly. Take a deep breath for you. Yeah, I'll get I'll get us up there, no problem. All right, here we go. Doesn't look big from here, but it's big. Here we go. Bigger than it looks. Always the claim. Eric's on a mission, dude. Dude, Eric's on a mission to the top. Three feet of air that time. Not sure how I just convinced JT to go jump off of it. All right, JT's got me on drone. I don't know who would trust me with their drone after my track record. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is not gonna work. All right, we got with that. the road boom mic pole from Greg. He sacrificed the $200 pole. Took us a while to dig this up, and uh, we're gonna create the perfect shark filming setup. Look how that slides in. Oh, I had it like this. So I have this. This is my last line of defense if the sharks eat this thing off. That string will be on there. But that snaps in, and then look at that. Everything is good except the blue tape. Yeah. Excuse me. Blue, blue tape's not gonna... What do you think, Eric? Oh man, painter's tape? As soon as that gets wet, it's over. Yeah, as soon as it's wet. I've done it before with painter's tape. The sharks love the painter's tape. We use no, painter's I'm... tape a lot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it Well, I got this to a good level, so if you feel like looking around for duct tape while I'm doing this. <laughs> Alright, we're on to black tape now. Alright, good. That, that looks good, a little right? More, a little more promising. So this guy brought a shark band, and we're gonna see if they work. That's right. With pork chop. Gray! <laughs> You have the fish heads?
right, so the claim is Greg was cutting up pork, his old pork, but sharks don't like that. They like fish blood. So this guy over here is claiming 12 foot black tips. I don't even know if I want to film that. If a black tip goes after my GoPro, it's <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to hold it. I can hold the camera against the four footers, but not against a 10 foot shark. You can shark. see them big pictures up there. <laughs> Most of them up there, the biggest is like 10, and the rest of them is six to eight feet. Sharks. Sharks. The barracuda they're almost pig, biggest pig, 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 pig. Oh. Pig, pig. What? My grandpa said, boy. <laughs> Boys, we're having ham tonight. What's the new plan? New plan to get some real estate. What's the new look, plan look for at the, the pig. Sh I'm tripping. What's the new plan for the sharks? Well, <laughs> 200 <laughs> pounds of fish. <laughs> <laughs> the closer she come, the more she come down. She gonna bring them big swells. Oh, they're so nice. I like hearing that. You could feel it. You could feel the wind. The wind picking, you know, the wind picking up, I tell you. Yeah, like you can feel it, huh? You could feel it, I, you, because we yeah, could hear the north juju, side by us. everywhere. Because oh, I, I live right, Look, right from Greg, I live right neck. down there. Tripping. And, I, and like if we could hear the north side in the night, the big boys starting to come. Oh, we're going to hear it in our dreams. They be shaking. Oh, they're boom. <laughs> this is going to be mental. <laughs> when they hit I'm them, so um, when they right hit now. them rocks, oh, they're there. Boom. Yeah, you all can get them. 